Dr. Terry Klopfenstein grew up on a rural farm in Ohio and went to college at Ohio State. But after eight years of school, Terry was still searching for a job when a postdoctoral opportunity in Nebraska arose. He moved to Nebraska in 1965 and has never left, serving as emeritus professor at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. It's been such a blessing to work with the people and the cattle industry, people in the cattle industry, but all the people in Nebraska. It's such a great place. While Terry has been involved in numerous achievements, he says it has always been about the students. Mentoring and teaching over 200 graduate students, Terry says that's been the most rewarding thing in his career. But Terry's passion for agriculture and the students was instilled inside him from the time he was young, growing up with his mom, a school teacher, and dad, a farmer. When I was in about the seventh grade, we moved to another farm and it had been so poorly farmed that the previous year, some of the corn wasn't even harvested. It wasn't worth harvesting. Okay, so my dad hauled a lot of poultry manure from a poultry facility. He raised a lot of alfalfa to uh, help that sort of heavy soil in north, uh, uh, Northwest Ohio. Uh, the next year, the corn crop was so big, we had to put up a bunch of temporary uh, corn cribs to, uh, to, to house ear corn at that time. But the, uh, he influenced me tremendously, and he was always looking for a new idea, reading something and trying something new, and that instilled that in me. He wanted to go to college, graduate high school, and then start of the Depression. Couldn't. Okay, and so I'm convinced that when I was in the nursery at the hospital, he said, you will go to college. While Terry doesn't like to take credit for changing the way the cattle industry feeds, some would call him a pioneer in using corn byproducts from ethanol and sweetener industries to feed cattle. His research laid the groundwork for distiller's grains, a product now labeled as a co-product of the ethanol industry. Terry has received multiple honors, including the Federation of Animal Science Societies, American Feed Industry Association, New Frontiers in Animal Nutrition Award, USDA Secretary of Agriculture Honor Award, USDA Superior Service Award, Morrison Award from the American Society of Animal Science Distinguished Teacher Award. And now, Nebraska Farm Bureau is proud to present Terry with its highest honor, the Silver Eagle Award. Terry is extremely active in the Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag Pin Pal program and has been a Lancaster County Farm Bureau member for 31 years. He's also had a very successful music career, being invited twice to sing in Memphis. Memphis, Nebraska, of course. Actually, it started, I was in the National FFA Chorus when I was a senior in high school, okay? And uh, in 1976, I was out of a church choir, a, a quartet, gospel quartet was formed, and we discontinued that this summer. So whatever, 40 some years of doing that uh, has been a great, I, I like music, and uh, to do that, uh, most of that time, at least one of my sons was singing with us as well, and so that's been great. Terry and his wife Nancy live on the outskirts of Lincoln with their miniature ponies, dog, and cat. They have eight children, 25 grandchildren, and 15 great-grandchildren. Unfortunately, Terry couldn't join us tonight, but he left us with a message. Uh, I want to thank you so much for this award. Uh, it's easy for people to say they're humbled, but I really feel that way. And uh, I know a lot was made of uh, the use of, of, of byproducts by the cattle industry. And I don't really want to take credit for that. I was involved, but a lot of other people were involved. Um, but I appreciate what the Farm Bureau does. Uh, and uh, uh, I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, to, uh, to accept this. Um, I'm most enthused about uh, the people that I've been involved with, uh, 
the, uh, the cattle industry in Nebraska. Uh, worked a lot with, obviously, with corn producers. They're kind of important to the cattle industry. And uh, uh, just being in Nebraska, and this is uh, just a, a highlight for me. And, uh, and uh, I so appreciate this at all the people in Nebraska that I've been able to work with over the last 50 some years. All the students and all the producers um, and all the leaders in different organizations like Farm Bureau. And it's been kind of fun to be an ag pen pal with my wife and visit students in fifth grade at Upchurch uh, School in Miller. And uh, we appreciate the efforts that Farm Bureau does to spread the message of agriculture. Thank you very much. Terry Klopfenstein, this year's winner of the Nebraska Farm Bureau's 2019 Silver Eagle Award.